guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys for tuning in to part two of the Polaris uh, Sportsman 850 High Lifter Edition. Uh, today we're going to be installing the exhaust and finishing up installing the winch. We're about to go to Polaris right now, our local Polaris dealership, and pick up the uh, winch plate that we need to install this winch. Once we pick that up, uh, we ought to be good to go with uh, installing the winch. And uh, we also got the exhaust. The exhaust came in yesterday. So uh, we'll get that put on as well. It's just a regular slip on from Big Gun. Basically just the canister is coming off and you uh, still utilize the factory piping. So uh, shouldn't be too hard, a few clamps and uh, maybe three or four bolts. And that should slide right on as well. But uh, guys, check this out, check the wiring out. We got everything ran nice and neat. Like I showed you last in the last video, if you guys haven't seen it already, go check that uh, part one out. But uh, this is our Bluetooth, Bluetooth controller for our uh, rock lights. We got it mounted up here as high as possible. Uh, all our wiring up here, our shrink wrapped everything and then taped all the ends as well. So uh, to try to keep the moisture and everything out of those. We also mounted the solenoid to the plastic part of the uh, four-wheeler. You can see it's really sturdy. That ain't going anywhere. Uh, just ran two bolts through it, like so. Probably can't see the other one, but ran two bolts through it, tightened them up, and then ran all our wiring, coiled everything up uh, nice and neat up here. You will see none of this when the uh, shroud is on, on the top of here. Once we put this back on, none of this wiring will be visible. All you'll see is a really clean install the road go pick up this winch plate and head back to the house so we can get everything finished and uh, wrapped up because we got a lot of other stuff to do today you guys stay tuned go down below hit that like button subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell if you guys haven't already and comment down below if you guys think we should get one of these for this channel so uh yeah i'll catch up with you guys when we get back and uh get everything installed so we just made it back from the uh, polaris dealership guys they got some nice bikes in there, man. I like almost made some impulsive buys up in there, guys. Like it's eye candy me walking the dealership like that. But um, definitely, definitely, definitely want to get one in the future. Um, I actually want I want to get a side by side. I've been saying that for a while. Um, I've had four wheelers, dirt bikes, you know. So uh, I definitely want something different. Um, so I'm thinking. I really want to get a side by side guys i think that would be sweet and uh the channel would like that a lot so but uh we're back at the house we got the parts um the bracket that we need this factory part from polaris is um it ran 60 bucks which isn't is it terrible uh but you could get this off of Amazon for, I want to say, around 30, half the price, but we needed it ASAP, so that was the best bet to get it from the dealership. It was quicker. So uh, that's why we went that route, but um, if you prepare ahead, you can get it it's cheaper and save you some money. So uh, here's the bracket here. Basically how it goes in, it basically mounts just like this. We threw those two holes right there on each side. Boom, boom. Roller fairly mounts to the front of it like that. And uh, your winch goes in the inside of it. So it's like a, basically a cage around the wrench. Super simple, super easy uh, install. Um, when you have the proper stuff. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and get this thing rigged up and mount it onto the winch so we can go ahead and slide that in, finish running our last wire, and that'll be done. Once we finish that, we'll move on to the exhaust and uh, butt start, after we put the exhaust on, we'll button everything back together and start it up for the first time with the new exhaust. Well, actually, I may do a startup clip of the stock exhaust, and then once we put the new exhaust on, do the same thing. So you guys can see a comparison. And then uh, once we do all that, we'll button everything back up. This bike will be done.
so guys, we got everything uh, buttoned back up on the front end. Lights, winch, everything's good to go. We wired everything up. <clears throat> it only works if the switch is on. You can hear that. Got our, um, our switch mounted right here, up top. And uh, winch looks pretty good. He already had uh, LED bulbs put in, so. But it's, it looks really good. It fit pretty well. We got all our connectors on. And like I said, I ran everything super, super clean on this thing. Um, you can't even see where the wires are for everything. But now we're gonna move on to the back end and uh, start working on getting this exhaust installed. He got a uh, big gun Evo exhaust. Um, I think it's gonna sound pretty good. From the ones I've heard before, they sound pretty good. And the Polaris already sounds, has its own little sound to it. It already sounds pretty good. It's kind of like a choppy sound. So I'm gonna go ahead and start it and uh, see, let you guys hear what it sounds like. And then uh, we'll get to throwing this exhaust on and then I'll do a after clip once we do that. So let me set y'all up and get this little cold start. Let's go ahead and open this big gun up. I opened it up already. It looks pretty good. I think it's gonna look good on the bike. Let's see if I can do this one hand. <laughs> but here it is. It would have been even nicer if it had, if they had an option for this to come in like an orange and black colorway, because. The Polaris, this year Polaris has orange and black accents. So that would have looked really clean with it already being aluminum uh, casing. So you might be able to get a sticker made for it. But uh, yeah, this is the exhaust. It looks fairly simple to install, really a slip on. And uh, you're gonna have two bolts up here. So probably the heart's probably gonna be getting the old one off. But uh, we're gonna get to it, figure it out and uh, get this ugly can off here. Man, we finally got it installed. Um, yeah, that was a process. It took me long, way longer than I was expecting it to take me, but we finally got it in, and uh, we're gonna give it a first start and see what it sounds like, guys.
that is that gives it so so much like the sound is so much deeper and uh raspy kind of at the same time it definitely sounds a lot better than it does stop and uh it's definitely a lot more pronounced that little chop that it does have so uh i think it's, it came out good fit and finish on this exhaust wasn't the best but we got it done and uh it's gonna work so That's gonna wrap this video up, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please go down below, hit that like button, subscribe button, and also turn the notification bell if you guys haven't already. Let me know, like I said, if we should get one of these guys. Side by side, ATV, something this year. Definitely to have some off-road content besides the dirt bike stuff. So uh, yeah, if you guys wanna see more of that, let me know and we can make that happen. So I hope everyone has a great day and stay safe.